Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You have not seen my new hair yet. I'm old. <laughs> I'm not old, it's just gray. <laughs> so stupid. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we did a video on how to wear black lipstick like I'm wearing right now. You can wear it many different ways, but this is how I typically do it just for a normal day. I like to keep everything else very minimal and then just have the focal point be the bold lip. So this is how I do it and if you want to see it, just keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to do this video today on how to wear a black lip. The black lip that I will be wearing today is NYX Liquid Suede in Alien. It's my favorite. So. I don't want to wear foundation today, and I don't normally. I'm just going to wear a concealer. I'm using my favorite, which is apparently discontinued. I did not realize. But I love this Invisible Lift Blur Concealer by L'Oreal. Um, there are other concealers. Use, use whatever you like, whatever works best for you. So I'm going to conceal my under eyes. I don't have a mirror. <laughs> so I'm going to put the concealer... On my under eyes. I like to tap it in with my finger and then we'll blend it out with a small brush. Last time we did a video I was having some issues with boogers and here we are again. Bad allergy day. I took my Zyrtec. Took my Zyrtec. Hopefully that helps. <laughs> I like to take it in the middle of my forehead. I feel like I I'm usually a little red in the middle of my forehead. A little bit, honestly, just to highlight, just to highlight the nose. And then, since I'm breaking out, I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit here. Once I have the concealer tapped on in the areas that I want it, I will then take, I like this little brush. It actually came in a kit from BH Cosmetics. It's just a really small, little flat, dense brush. So tap it in the areas where you want it to be most concentrated and around the edges, you can buff it in. I find when not wearing a foundation, it's best to really blend the edges in. That way it's not so noticeable that you have concealer on and then bare skin. Since the lip is so bald, we won't be using eyeshadow today, but I do want to conceal all the veins and redness of my eyelids. If you have perfectly smooth eyelids, you might not need to do this. Use the brush again and buff it out. Once I have the concealer buffed in, I'm just gonna set it a little bit with a small amount of powder. This is the e.l.f. translucent powder on this little small fluffy brush. I have dry skin, so I don't set my face all over, but where the concealer might crease, I do add powder. Again, with such a bold lip, we want everything else to be pretty minimal. So I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush and my The Balm Bahama Mama Bronzer. I love this stuff. It's like the perfect shade for my pale skin. It's not too warm, but it's also not too cool. Um, I'm not going to contour or chisel my cheeks. I'm just going to go right on the outside a little bit. On the temples. For a more natural look, I just, like the sun has just kissed my nose, just right across and on the cheeks. Then I add a little bit down here. Now that we're nice and bronzed, I'm going to go in with a shimmery blush. Um, typically I wear a highlighter, but this blush that I'm using is really, really shimmery, and I just love the way that it looks. This is a shimmer brick from Glow Beauty, Glow Skin Beauty. Um, I think they're sold out right now, but if you can get your hands on this, I love it. I'm going to take the pinkier shade right here knock off the excess and you'll see it's basically like a pink highlighter honestly but it just makes such a pretty pinky glow i love it and that is it for the skin oh, look how pretty that is i'm gonna wear
wear this every day. Um, <laughs> now I'm gonna do eyebrows. Typically I use my BH Cosmetics brow powder in medium. My hair obviously changed, it's much lighter, and I feel like this lighter brow pencil works really well for the hair color. It's ColourPop's brow pencil in Blondie. I start at the front of the brow at the bottom and draw a line straight across. Now I do flicky motions up at the front through the hairs to lighten them. Cheat our arch. Come through them. I'm taking a brow gel. This is from Essence, actually, and it's called Make Me Brow. It's kind of like the Benefit um, brow gel. Not quite as good, but it's cheap and nice. This is the Benefit Their Real Mascara, this little sample that I have. And that's literally all I do for my eyes when I wear a black lip. Star of the show, we're gonna go in with the black lipstick. So this is NYX Liquid Suede in Alien. Again, said it earlier, I think, but. With liquid lips, I like to start on the bottom lip and I get a crisp line around the edge first. For the Cupid's bow area, I'll do this way first, and then this way. I saw that trick in a red lipstick video. I look hilarious right now, oh my god. <laughs> it was like, do an X here and then go. And now I use it for everything. Then fill in the center. I like it. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That is all. Let's put our glasses on. All right, guys, that is how I wear a black lipstick. I keep everything very, very minimal and glowy and natural, and then just bam, the black lip is in your face, and that's how I like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that I inspired you to try black lipstick if you haven't tried it before. It's a super fun statement, and it takes about five seconds to put this look on, so you should try it. Just try it. Give it a shot. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, click that red subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. It would be so much appreciated. And if you want to see anything else, just leave it in the comments below. I would love your suggestions on what you want to see on the channel. But that is it. Our next video is going to be a back to school look. So I hope that you stay tuned. And I'll see you next time, or the time after that, or the time after that. Okay, bye! I have a frog in my throat. Ribbit. Embarrassing. I was waiting on you to stop. Uh, did you already do the look? Do I not look made up? No, you I'm it. putting this in the bloopers. I, I didn't even mention, I have new hair. Um. I probably mentioned it in the intro because the intro is in Future Me. Future Me does the intro, so I'm sure we talked about my hair.